Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here, welcome back to our video. So I'm gonna get Scorpion in this one, either from the chest or buying him, though to be fair, look at this amount of chance, we're almost for sure buying him from these special offers. But they might as well try this, any chance to save me 50 bucks is welcome. And we start off great with a gold character, my boy Sub-Zero building his team already, though I have 10k additional shards for Sub-Zero, so that was really not that necessary. Oh, let's go some scorpion shards. How much will that be? 75, okay. Okay. So yet again, I don't have any hope of unlocking him still. That's some nice 75 shards. That's the average amount of shards I would expect from this amount of gems. So I don't expect to see scorpion again, actually. But yet again, you never know. I'm only doing this because I'm buying him anyway if I don't get him. If you have this amount of gems, you shouldn't do what I do with them. Okay. Two more openings. Here goes nothing. And here goes nothing again. Yep, and our gold. Yeah, that's the kind of how many shards you would expect. From opening pretty much nine chests. Well, let's uh, let's purchase him a drill money then, and I'll be right back. We now give you also some gems with the legendary characters that you buy, and I get an idea, a little bit of a wild idea. How about you put the gears too in this bundle, buddy? So we also get the gears for the characters we purchase and don't have to spend 10 additional dollars for them. That would be nice. Okay, so I purchased Scorpion at 3 stars and uh, I got these gears to level 80. This is currently how the build looks like. It's fine, it's all all rounder builds. Don't worry too much about it. I might change it in the future. And the abilities, this is how they look at level 3. This is how many combos I need to put the hotspot on the enemy. This is the ignite damage as percentage of my attack. And this is the damage against ignited opponents. Scorpion is going to be an extremely star reliant character. And he's going to get a huge upgrade with the star rating. Though we uh, have uh, yet to see him in Solaris because he might be good enough to the point where yes, he does get better with the star rating, but you don't really need to get him better. But we'll eventually see how that goes. We have the Shirai Ryu Spear, Vengeance Vortex, and uh, Nether Fire at level 70. So let's get into Arena and do some gameplay with him. By the way, something pretty weird. You can no longer refresh the Arena. It says next refresh after a certain amount of hours, they don't really talk about this in the updates, but even if I go like this, and then enter this again, it's still not gonna refresh. I'm not sure what they're hoping to achieve exactly with this, because this is not gonna make Arena more challenging, because I can just fight this garbage over here, for example, and it's gonna be an easy time. But yeah, this is definitely weird. Gonna fight those guys, and currently I don't have any artifacts because I first of all want to kind of present an unaltered way of the character. Because I would love to put Firebox on Scorpion, but then people will be, oh, Scorpion can blink dash attack. No, that's the Firebox or Sword of Salvation. Oh, Scorpion can power steal. No, that's an artifact. So for the first few fights to kind of avoid confusion, I'm not gonna drop any artifacts on them. And let's see how the character plays and how he feels. Red with the AI. He's using red with the AI. Let me see the back off. Yep. 100% red with AI. And I'm not mad about it. That's some pretty decent AI than them making something new that doesn't properly function. But yeah, this is recycled from Red Hood. 
and I'm I'm happy because of it. It it just works. But yeah, let's try to find a bit of a more challenging fight here. Okay, this should at least last a lot longer than the previous team, so I'll have quite enough fight to, uh, time to fight them and see the combos of the characters, see the mechanics. And yeah, this is the goal here is not to win, by the way. The goal here is to get a feel for the characters and their abilities. There's something pretty interesting happening with the Sub-Zero clone, because that's going to freeze the enemy. And the Sub-Zero clone doesn't break the freeze, but gets damaged every time it hits the enemy. And he's got the negative effect, which is cooled. I got a huge amount of damage buff, which is uh, decreasing. I think... Oh, that Scorpion's kind of dead at this point. But yeah, I think there might be um, a little bit of a way. To do an infinite combo with him. That's why I died, because I was trying to replicate what I previously did. The force is not too bad. And the thing that depends on the missing power bars of the enemy seems to actually um, work on the main character you're doing it. If you're hitting a no power bars enemy character. Your third special is going to have a lot more instances of damage against both him. And the teammates. So that's the best case scenario, basically. And yeah, you can't clone a clone, by the way. Because that's what I tried to do there. And yeah, here I'm dead. Almost dead. Yeah, not much of a point in playing anymore. But yeah, the uh, third special of Raiden is actually the best case scenario. We're gonna try and fight this. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more careful with Scorpion. Because they've all got kind of balanced builds. I think Sub-Zero ended up being the tankiest. Oh yeah, that's the buff from Raiden's passive, because it's the missing power burst that the enemy has. It's actually very cool that it says how many power bars are there. Or how much damage or buff you're getting out of the missing power bars. Okay, let's see the special deal. Let's see the get over here. Okay, so it also pushes them in order to have uh, uh, a reason to pull them. Yeah, that's Scorpion dead again. Yeah, after this fight, I think I'm gonna drop an artifact on him. Gotta prevent that scenario. I have the power of the Elder Gods. So I feel like that Raven third special is either not working or has been nerfed in regards to damaging tagged out characters. Because I swear it used to be better than this. It would deal a lot more damage to the tagged out characters than to the character that's actively in the fight against him. And he refuses that, so... Yeah, a little bit of a weird situation there. Okay, I want to do that Shirai Ryu Spear from range and see how that goes. Let me let me drop some survivability on my man uh, Scorpion here. Okay, so I dropped the Sword of Salvation on him, actually. Which is gonna be... Raiden's passive in terms of damage, but a bit weaker. And it's gonna power drain the enemy. So the power draining on the enemy is not gonna be because of Raiden, it's gonna be because of the artifact on Scorpion. Just be aware of that. But this allows me to survive a bit better and do more specials. We're dealing a ton of damage though, because we got the 300% from there. And we got some percentage health damage from the air tank. Though I was not far away enough to do it from range properly. Oh, come on. That's kind of cringe. Okay, this is a pretty good moment to go ahead and do this.
Bro, what is that? That nah, bro. That's garbage. That I, I mean, I don't really care because I'm not gonna see it again. Maybe I'll see it once more in this video because it's so bad. But look at this. Look at this garbage going over compared to bro. That's that's the lamest super move I have seen in my entire life. They put zero effort in this, it's like getting a fourth grader to learn an editing program for one month and he shows you the results. What was that gar- oh man. I never care about Supermove, but that was just so out there garbage. Oh no, we gotta see that again, boys. We gotta see that garbage again. Hmm, the special one's pretty cool, actually. Also managed to ignite her. Yeah, looks like a scorpion can both apply and break the ignites. Which basically makes there no needs to have the other two um, MK Mobile teammates. I messed up the combo interruption, but yeah, let's see this again. The slow motion, oh boy. Nah, bro. Let, let me know, maybe maybe it's just a very subjective thing. Maybe you guys absolutely love that animation and think it's, it's, it's the coolest thing in the world. But having a Mortal Kombat team, a Mortal Kombat team that's a game most famous for the brutality of their finisher moves and how cool they look, ha have that happen. Nah, bro. That that's that's most likely the worst looking super move in the game. So I just refreshed Scorpion, and let's see how he performs in our teams. Because the fact that he can pop the um, ignites himself uh, makes it not really that necessary to have the our MK teammates. And yeah, they're gonna be great in arena, most likely as a team, but in soul raids. Not sure how likely you're going to see all of them at the same time. Bro, chill buddy, chill. Calm down for a second. I think I have no gears on Dr. Fate because I need him to die in soul raids at some point. Am I not supposed to play some ignites here or... For arena standards, considering how much attack I got here, that dot damage is not half bad. But yeah, bring it here is a mistake. I'll, I'll change that in the next team because it's annoying because it's constantly tagging clones. My better. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna try and win this and uh, skip to the end. Okay, so here I uh, took Brainiac out because it was annoying that it was taking control of targets and they had to tag them out constantly and that and Red Hood. So you guys can see kind of the gameplay comparison between the two. And actually, let's put sort of Salvation on Red Hood. No, I, I think I'm going to leave it like this because if I put Dark Melkarps on Scorpion, we might one-shot targets with a third special. And what I want to see is kind of the weak spot mechanic. It's how you put weak spots in the, on the enemy is you do a special at high combo. And then you can break them. So we're gonna explore the hot spots a bit. A Dr. Fate with Power Box allowing me to do a very nice infinite combo here. They should put three uh yeah he died. Um Oh boy, bro, the dot damage. I can't wait to see this dot damage and I can't wait to see this in soul raids. This is absolutely demolishing teams. And this was on high combo. I don't. I didn't previously do it on high combo. That's why I didn't do this much damage. But yeah, I'm afraid we might not see the weak spot mechanic in real. Hold on. Let me let me actually take out the artifact and see if we can have target survive. Also, the refresh button in the arena. I don't know what's wrong with it. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's not. Like right now, it's no longer there. But they had it previously up there. All of those are annoying. 
I guess we could fight a dark side team. Why not? Again, the goal here is not to win, not to beat, not to beat everybody. It's to be Scorpion, though. I'll try to one shot dark side at the start, so I don't have to worry about his shields. That can be extremely annoying. I have her super move, that sucks. No! Oh, okay. Let's get to the next fights. This is fine, I guess. We'll have to deal with the Atrocitus Reflect Shields somewhat, which is annoying. Also, the Superman Reflect Shields. The Atrocitus one can be random because it's one tagging, and he starts with it. By the way, let me let me tag in red for the bit since the shield is here, so you guys can do a little bit of an informed comparison between their basics. Now into Scorpion. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing in that regard. Oh, Atrocitus has even got the Reflect Artifact, bro. Such a tryhard. Uh, he seems to not be jumping out of this, which is good. He seems to be trying to back off from it. And not try to exit it via jumping out of it. Which is nice. We have two weak spots here. Swipe triggers that one, jump attack triggers that one, yeah, that's how you break hotspots. And it can be annoying to incorporate a swipe down attacks and maybe swipe up attacks too in the combo. But the damage should definitely be worth doing so. Uh, what? Okay, that was weird there and a bit concerning. I, I mean, I don't care about the rest of the fights, but... Um, he seemed like he got a bit staggered by his own special too, to the point where I was stuck there not being able to press or do anything, and uh, Superman, who just got hit by one of my specials, was free to do anything, so that's a bit concerning. And I think this is gonna be the last fight, I think we saw most things about the character. He looks, he looks fine overall, like, trying to give my overall uh, opinions. He feels fine to play. A bit of a concern, as I said, with that second special. We're gonna try that again. And maybe try it from long range, because I don't think I have at all. But other than that, it seems fine, and it seems like the third special might be a lot more convenient to use than I was expecting. Let's use the special to... Bro, that's... That's such a cop-out with the second special. This looks like a ranged ability, but it's kind of meant to be... Use the melee. It's not gonna be... The map white type of deal that I was expecting. Oh, and I'm dead. But yeah, they seem to not be jumping out too much out of that hazard, so that might be usable. Yeah, overall, in terms of gameplay, Scorpion looks fine. A bit disappointing, Supernova and Special 2, but whatever. I'm gonna come back with some uh, soul raid gameplay later today so thanks so much for watching like the reflected this actress liked it and i'll see you on the next one goodbye